so what is up everyone this is Kane here welcome back to tech kiran youtube channel talking about the palladium os which is now available for a lot of devices and the new build might be the first build is now available for the redmi note 8 users and redmi note 8 t users so may i told this is actually a unified build so it can be installed on redmi note 8 and redmi note 8 t both it has this atomic hub where we have some customizations and i have a palladium os review already available on my channel so if you haven't checked it out so make sure to check out that i'm just gonna share with you some device specific things about this build which you get in this redmi note 8 update if you if we talk about this update for the redmi note 8 users has the same default wallpaper called palladium os just showing you the palladium os and like that let me show you what about the things which you get here first of all we're going to talk about the safety net status which might be one of the things to one of the things to take out one of the things to check out about the bills and custom rooms we have the safety net status maybe passing because i haven't tested it yet i haven't installed matches on my device so as i haven't installed matches the safety net status by default should be passed let me just check out that how is the safety net status and after that we're gonna move on to some other good and interesting things about the palladium os the latest unofficial build for these this device and as expectedly the safety net status is maybe passing yes as you can see the redmi note 8 the safety net compatibility test is passed safety net status is passing so which means i'll be able to use banking apps without any issues and like that if you move on to the settings and check out the play product certification the device is certified the device is certified safety status is passing the room is looking quite smooth here actually as you can see this it is quite smooth and like that if you talk about the quick settings panel where we have a lot of extra tiles like the default ones but adding some interesting kind of tiles like the gaming mode which you can simply enable or disable for example if you want to turn on the gaming mode it's by default disabled in settings so just hold for some time and just enable this gaming mode from here the gaming mode is included so if you want to play some interesting games you can play with some customizations some features i haven't tested the gaming mode and also i'm not interested because i don't play games a lot but it's up to you it comes with all those interesting features which you get in other android 11 based custom rooms right now android 11 based avsp based custom rooms for other devices and like this device either also it comes with same android 11 features for example notification history apps and notifications new ui everywhere the colors are light green everywhere maybe light blue which you can change very easily with by just going into styles and wallpapers in display settings we have normal options doesn't get many extra features and options like that for example talking about the privacy related things as expectedly same kind of things are available autofill etc security etc includes the fingerprint and screen lock it even doesn't include the face unlock unfortunately so if you're looking to install face unlock it's not available if you want to use face unlock on your device and like that if you move on to the home screen settings where you don't get where you unfortunately don't get the app locker which i was looking for it's not available in the main settings it's not even available in the launcher settings so this the app locker unfortunately is not there even the face log is not there so these are the things which you get in this latest palladium os unofficial update for the redmi note 8 and redmi note 8 users if you are using redmi note 8 gingo or if you're using redmi note 8 t willow both of the devices can install this build which is palladium os and as i previously told you it has something a little bit of unique kind of ui where we can customize the fonts we can customize the icon shapes we have the asin picker lock screen clock for example let me just apply this one and check out that how this is this clock is looking like this is how this clock is looking like which is looking a little bit of unique here so yes friday march and it's showing good some kind of coding hashtag include ios stream so yes it's good it's looking a little bit of interesting a little bit of uniqueness here you can simply customize the asin color also if you want to it's just up to you little bit of customization some basic features are included like that if you move on to other things as you can see we've just changed the asin color and yes asin color etc is just working good status bar options are also included for example clock related things battery related things 
like that we have the button related customizations miscellaneous etc related customizations options are available here and there at last let me just talk about the camera because camera doesn't include much it comes with the mio 11 camera so normal things and as always same kind of options are available in this mio 11 camera doesn't i don't have enough things to talk about the camera so simply install this build on your device if you want to link for this latest palette demo is, is in the description as expectedly this is also today's video i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching goodbye